Earth. This is about the stakeholder analysis. Um, just to cluster it all together, we start with the internal personal knowledge map. We know this part already discussed at the Idea Factory lectures. We, we leave it for now, but normally uh, later on <coughs> we group that together in the, uh, in the uh, social media interfaces we are going to use within project management. So be aware that this knowledge map will come back to that. Um, what we also want is to map out our stakeholders. We want to know who, which organizations, what forces are important in the environment for our organization. Um, and we normally come to sort of an overview of specialists, um, uh, researchers, people that publish, people that give meanings and ideas which are important. Um, key people, uh, leaders, higher management of competitors, uh, uh, politicians, uh, you name it, industries, uh, competitors, um, maybe suppliers, uh, institutions and organizations who, who, who deal with our environment, who have a strong influence. We all like to follow them. We like to see what is actually happening, what are they saying, what their moves are. So we want to have that overview in, in, in sort of a knowledge map. And one way of doing that is to make the stakeholder relevance map where we plot ourselves in the center bit in a red dot where we say this is the start of everything, this is where we are. And um, from that left bottom corner, uh, we draw a few lines and we say, okay, from here on, those who are most relevant for us to follow, we will plot straight next to us. And the further the distance, the less relevant uh, these entities are. And so if there is any news, we can give it a color code or we can, we can do anything to show you the relevance or priority that news must have because it is more or further away or closer to where we actually stand. This stakeholder relevance map is a key to, to actually look at that. Now, we can even go a little step further. We want to do a straight stakeholder analysis. Who are these stakeholders? How, how does that work? And first of all, we look at two sorts of stakeholders. They either they have a lot of power, uh, so they're extremely important in what they can do, or they have a high interest to do things. Sometimes that comes together and sometimes not. So we make sort of a short list of those who have high power and those who have high interest. Um, and then we, we try to do it this way that the one that we place highest on these, on these sheets uh, with our post-its are actually the ones indeed who are scoring highest and the one at the bottom scores the lowest on that. Then we bring that together and we say, okay, that is with a high power. Let's cluster on top the one that also have high interest and let's cluster the one that has a low interest in, in what we do. Um, and with the high interest one, we cluster the high power on the top and the low power one at the bottom. And then it becomes very simple. We sort of make four quarters. And of course, it is the top right corner that is the most important. That is the high power one and high interest one. And the other ones are of lesser importance. And here on the last slide, you can see that those who have N high power and high interest, these stakeholders, will cluster them together in that segment. And the second interests are the one with high interest, low power, or high power, low interest. And then the third one we actually uh, ignore. All right, that was it. Thank you.